Hey you guys, so I am back with a brand new video and I did some shopping at Walgreens because you guys know it's 2017 so there are a lot of new drugstore products and of course I wanted to get my hands on some new goodies so we can test them out and I can do some review for you guys. So if you want to see what I picked up then of course just keep watching. Alright you guys, so starting off my first item, I guess I'll just do... Um, my face product first and I'll do like my lip products last. Um, so starting off, my first one I have is by Wet n Wild. It is their Get The Skinny Tip Eyeliner. Um, it is a micro thin tip and I have it in the color black. So this is what it looks like. And then the next item that I have is also by Wet n Wild. It's the Get The Skinny Mega Slim Mascara. Um, this one is an ultra skinny precise brush and I have it in the color black as well. And I got this mainly because I wanted it for like my bottom lashes. You guys know I typically use my NYC Insta Lash. Um, but I'm kind of getting bored with using that one because I've used it so long. So I just wanted to try something different and I figured since this one was so tiny it would fit perfectly in like my bottom lashes to separate them. So yeah, cannot wait to use this in the video so you guys can see how well it performs. And then my next item I have is by Rima London. It is their Magnify Eyes Shadows. Um, and they have three different palettes, but the one that pretty much caught my attention, it says keep calm and wear gold. And this is just what it looks like. You guys know these colors are definitely up my alley, so I cannot wait to play with it. And then on the back, it pretty much just shows you like a quick little, you know, makeup tutorial if you need help with applying your shadows um so yeah i cannot wait to try this and it was really inexpensive so i will definitely put this in the video so you guys can see how well the shadows um perform but i'll just swatch a few colors for you let's see they are really buttery so that's a good thing and they're really pigmented too so here are the swatches on my hand, if you guys can see that. So yeah, really pretty colors and I cannot wait to put those in action. And then moving on to Maybelline, um, they had this like color correcting kit and I have mine in the color deep and this is just what it looks like. So you have one that's a um, corrector shade, concealing and highlighting. So yeah. I will definitely do a review on this for you guys as well. And then moving on um, to Maybelline, I also picked up their Dream Illuminator. Um, I have it in 60. This was pretty much like the darkest one that they had. It's uh, deep. Um, so this is just what it looks like. It's a stick. Um, I typically don't use sticks um, when it comes to like any kind of products. Um, but I figured I'll definitely try it. It's something different. Um, so yeah, it is a creamy concealer. And I cannot wait to use this under my eyes as well, just to kind of see how well it conceals under my eyes. So, super excited about this. And then my next one is by uh, Milani. It is their Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. Um, the darkest one that they had was called Honey. I'm not sure how well that's going to work out as far as the color is concerned, but I'm super excited about it because I only have like Milani lip products. I really don't have any Milani face products. So super excited to try this concealer out. And then my next item is by Maybelline. It's their Dream Cushion Foundation. Um, I have mine in the darkest one, which is Coco number 60. I was kind of torn between Coco and Caramel, but I kind of figured, you know, with these kind of products is hard to like kind of like gets your shade so I figured I'll just pick the darkest one and hope for the best if not I'll just try caramel because that was the next one that was the next up from Coco so yeah super excited about this I don't have any like cushion foundations so cannot wait to try this and I'm a fan of Maybelline foundations I think pretty much everyone I've used so far have not let me down at all so I really do have high expectations for this product as well all right, you guys, so I have um, four more face products left. Um, the next one is by Jordana. It's their Sculpt and Go Creamy Contour Stick. I have it in the color Deep. It's number three. And this is the packaging. And here's what it looks like. Let me swatch this for you guys. Here is what it looks like. That is the contour shade. I think that will be perfect as far as the shade to contour with. Um, so super excited to try this out. And I cannot wait for you guys to see it 
as far as me using it you guys know i'm a fan of powder to contour with nothing that's ever in a stick form so you guys see i'm trying to like switch it up a little bit for you and then the next one i have is by wet n wild it's their um, mega glow makeup stick contour stick i have it in the color call me maple number 805 and hopefully this shade is a good color and i think it is so that is that one right there so i have two cream contour sticks to play with which i'm super excited about and i cannot wait to kind of like compare them so you guys can see like which one is a better option because they're both super inexpensive you guys know wet and wild is really affordable and so is jordana but obviously you don't need both so can i want to let you guys know which one you should go with and then my next one it is by wet and wild is their mega cushion highlight um it's in the color who's that pearl now i thought the packaging was really cute however it was kind of hard to tell exactly what the product was because it's pretty much like sealed off so you can't really see what the color is what it looks like so that part about it i did not like but anyways you open it up and then you see this little um sponge thing and then you open it up and here is the product and let me press it so you guys can see it and i don't think i'm gonna like that so that is it swatched on my hand yeah i don't think i'm gonna like that for me um it's too frosty for my liking but i just kind of figured it was something that was different and unique but um more than likely i'm not gonna use it because it's just too frosty from my skin tone i think if you're lighter than me it would definitely work out for you but i just think it's a different way to apply like a highlight but yeah that's just what that looks like and then my last one is by milani this one is their golden light um highlighter palette i just thought it was really cute here is the palette and then this is the inside of it so cute you have like a golden color you have a rose gold color and you have like a bronzy color so you definitely have three colors to work with or you could just swirl it together and just do it that way but let me swatch that for you ooh ooh look at that can you guys see that that is so pretty I cannot wait to use this again I don't really have Milani face products so I'm super excited to have like two of their face products in my collection so yeah moving on to lip products I have um, some products from Jordana and pretty much just wet and wild because they really have the majority of like the newer lip products so by Jordana I have their sweet cream matte liquid lip color and I have it in three colors I have it in cinnamon toast tiramisu and molten chocolate cake so this one is molten chocolate cake it's a really pretty like brownish reddish brick color so here is the swatch of that one look at that you guys that is a really pretty color and i just picked the colors that were um sort of kind of in my comfort zone but at the same time a little bit different because i'm trying to like step out of my comfort zone at the same time too so i just thought that was a really pretty color and then tiramisu is like a really pretty like pinky nudish color so i just hope on my lips it looks good but that is the swatch of tiramisu on my hand i think it's a really pretty color and then cinnamon toast this is what the swatch look like it's like a really pretty it's almost like a grayish purplish color and here is the swatch of cinnamon toast on my hand so again these are really pretty and it's the jordana sweet cream matte liquid lip color so super excited about those and then from wet n wild i picked up their um mega last liquid what is it called I picked up the Mega Last Liquid Matte Lipstick and I have it in three colors. I have it in Give Me Mocha, Coral Corruption, and Berry Recognize. So this one is Berry Recognize. Of course, you guys want to get like one vampy or like purpley color. Not vampy, but like a purpley color. And here is the swatch of that one. Oh, that is really pretty. So here is that one. 
that's a really pretty color and then coral corruption is a really pretty coral color um i typically don't wear coral colors on my lips but i figured again i would try it something different and yeah oh that's really pretty i think that'd be really pretty for like spring and summertime um here is the swatch of that one that is a really pretty color and then the last one give me mocha looks like that and here is the swatch of give me mocha that's a really pretty color too i'm actually loving the way these are swatching and that's the last one so yeah super excited about those i'll definitely keep you guys posted on how those work um and then the last two products i have there by wet and wow i have their um, Velvet Matte Lip Color is in the color called Looking for Truffle. This is the packaging of it, like a pencil style packaging. And here is the swatch. Oh, that's really pretty. It's like a dusty rose color right here. This is really pretty. And then the last one I have is by Wet n Wild. It's their Mega Cushion Soft Matte Lip Cream. And I have it in the color Melanin Like It Is. And isn't the packaging cute? It pretty much matches this like highlighter. It's really cute. And here is the swatch of that one. This is the applicator of it. That's really weird. So that is the swatch of it right here on my hand. So yeah, you guys, that's pretty much everything that I picked up that was new from the drugstore. Again, if you guys want to see these product in a full like makeup tutorial, or if you guys want to see like a separate review on anything, let me know. I'll be more than happy to like demo this in a video or um, compare the Jordana and Wet n Wild contour sticks for you guys. Again, just let me know what you guys wanna see. I'm more than excited and willing to film whatever you guys wanna see or review and all that good stuff. So yes, hope you guys enjoyed my video. Like always, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.